Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 2 and the Last Resort mission set on Haven Island. And today we will be taking care of the kleptoma kleptomaniac discovery or feat for collecting the four private villa co uh, keys. We will also get the Plenty of Fish in the Sea Redacted Challenge, which entails collecting a fish. And we will also get the Crocodile Dundee uh, Secret Exit and PlayStation Achievement. So for this all we need to bring with us is our ever trusty lockpick, a silenced pistol and a silenced sniping rifle which I've left stashed up in the shark hut. So you will see that I have already been through the level and eliminated our three main targets as they are not required for these challenges. So right from the start, off the bat, what we need to do is collect ourselves four of the villa keys and two of them are in the reception building directly ahead of us. One of them is extremely easy to get, one of them we have to listen to some woman waffle for a moment. So we're going to approach the reception desk and the lady will give us our first key. And the second key is behind the haven sign, behind the young lady who gave us our first key. So that's two down, two to go. Uh, our third key is located at the doctor's hut, which is the hut next to ours. It's just on the left hand side of the pier. And the key is actually out the back of the villa, or the hut. So we can make our way pretty much straight there and up to the back. Unfortunately, the doctor's assistant is looking in this direction. And she has spotted me enough to become interested, which works in our favor. Because we can then go underneath the hut, as long as she's making her way right over. To the far side, we're going to vault up the side here. And just between the two deck chairs, we have a little table, and on that table is our third key. So three down, one to go. And our final key will be at Jason Portman's hut, which was the hut on the other side of our hut. So we're gonna run back under the doctor's hut, run directly under our own hut, or villa, whatever you wanna call them private residences and we're going to make our way underneath Jason Portman's hut and out to the other side and we're just going to wait right here because Jason Portman is just entering this little area here and he's going to stand here and have a rather embarrassing phone call which we will cut out and when he turns to leave we can then vault up onto the balcony here we're going to make our way into the bathroom, making sure no one's looking in this direction. There we go. We're going to collect the fire extinguisher from the wall by the door, plug ourselves up on the other side of the door, open the door and throw our fire extinguisher into the room, into the bathroom that is. That will attract the attention of this young gentleman here and we can subdue him from around the corner we can hide his body in the wicker basket provided. Now this works with either this guy or Jason Portman. They both have a key, which once you render them unconscious, they drop. Now, unfortunately, the key is in the other room, just beyond this door. And Jason Portman is right there. So we're just gonna wait once again for him to leave. We're gonna open the door, collect the key, and that will get us the kleptomaniac discovery or feat. It won't pop for me because I've already achieved it. So with that taken care of, we're now gonna move on to the Crocodile Dundee style exit. So we need to make our way to our own villa, for which we have a key for the first time, I believe. And just in the bedroom here, we will find our silent sniping rifle. And with that in hand, we're now gonna make our way to the empty hut or villa. And that is the one right on the far end or over by the 
Atlantic Ocean there. So we're going to make our way all the way up and around to the back and up the stairs. Now there are a couple of serving staff in the bedroom area, but we don't need to go in the bedroom. So we're going to lockpick our way into the bathroom, retrieve our si uh, silenced sniping rifle. We're going to aim back over towards the doctor's hut and our first two inflatable crocodiles that we require for our exit are here and we're just going to shoot them so there's one up against the back wall and one in the pool we need 18 of these bad boys so that's two down, 16 to go and we can get quite a number of them from this hut so with the first two taken care of uh, inflatable crocodile number three is around the far side of the hut on the balcony area so we're just going to shoot that one with our silence pistol so that's three down now our next five are all at the ski instructors hut so we're going to make our way in through the bathroom into the empty hut and around to the front room area behind the sofa retrieve our silence sniping rifle once again and we will be able to snipe our next five inflatable crocodiles from this location. So over at the ski hut, there is one under the table outside and four lined up against the wall there. So we're just gonna quickly take out all of them. And that should take us up to about eight of our 18. There are two more uh, inflatable crocodiles at the ski instructor's hut but we will come back for them so in the meantime we're gonna make our way back down out of the empty hut or villa and we're gonna make our way back towards reception and behind reception is a swimming pool and in and around that swimming pool are a number of other inflatable crocodiles now there are about, I think, three or four in this area, but only two of them are the two that we require. So there's one just in the pool there, and the other one is just in the pool a little bit further away. Now these are probably two of the most difficult to get because of the amount of eyes on the area. So we're gonna drop down into the foliage, select our silence pistol, and shoot the furthest crocodile from us. We're going to uh, replace our pistol and we're going to make our way up the stairs at the back here towards the gym. We're just going to go up the one flight and then from here we have a vantage point to see number uh, nine I believe this is or ten quite possibly. It's quite a difficult one to see but we can shoot that one right up against the edge of the pool there. So we're now going to go back to the ski hut and take out the two remaining inflatable crocodiles that we were unable to snipe from a distance. And they are inside the ski hut itself, so we need to make our way inside. And we're just going to wait for, firstly, the door to close and this young lady to vacate the area. There are the two crocodiles in the corner there. And we're going to walk right up to them as close as we can behind the wall here. Pull out our silence pistol and shoot them both and exit as quickly as we can. So with all of them taken care of, we have roughly six more to go. And two of them are at the main villa at the back of the map. And they are in the pool area there. So we're just going to make our way all the way around down the side of the villa and while we're here we can uh, take out the surveillance system as well if we so wish. So once we get to the gap in the fence we're going to hop over the wall, we're going to make our way into the foliage and under the stairs, we're going to throw our sniping rifle briefcase at the foot of the stairs. We're going to retrieve our briefcase, get ourselves a safe distance, and we're going to wait for the villa guard, who we've just distracted, to make his way down here under the stairs, and we can then render him unconscious and take his outfit. Now, I recommend dropping the briefcase and subduing the guard silently. 
just so that we don't attract anybody else's attention. So once the guard's in place, we can render him unconscious, take his outfit, we're going to leave him there, retrieve our briefcase, we're going to pull out our silence pistol and we're going to take out the surveillance system through the lattice work and the open window. There we go. And we're now going to make our way around to the back of the villa where the pool is. But we need to take out one of these uh, inflatable crocodiles from a high vantage point. So the easiest way to do that is to go into the villa and up the stairs into Tyson Williams' bedroom and out onto the balcony. Uh, this is one of the more trickier shots because we're going to have to shoot through all of these plants and it's very difficult to actually see our inflatable crocodile which is in the pool and I was a bit baffled there that the doctor has arrived he should be long gone by now but he's still sitting there for some reason so the black crocodile in question is in the pool and as you can see it's very difficult to actually see it but we can take it out from here, there we go. So there's one more around the pool downstairs and for this one we can make our way back down the stairs and out of the back of the villa. And we're gonna make our way down onto the small pier where the speedboat exit is. And once we're down here, if we turn and look back behind us, we can see a purple or pink inflatable crocodile we're just going to wait for everyone to calm down and go back to their routine before we pull out our pistol shoot that one that will take us up to 14 crocodiles and our last four are all on the beach around by the restaurant and the bar building so we're going to make our way back out of the villa and over to the restaurant and bar more or less the bar than the uh, the restaurant than the bar should I say so there are four in this little beachy area around here and I think one is actually underneath the bar area so what we're gonna do here is make our way up to the restaurant and around to the side we don't want to go too far towards the front because there is a guard on duty just off to our left we're gonna retrieve our silent sniping rifle one last time and out in the water just offshore we should if I was looking a little bit more to my left see another crocodile so I finally spotted it and there it is unfortunately these two people have just wandered over and one of them seems quite hesitant about moving and I almost took the shot and shot him in the leg but we're going to take out that uh, particular crocodile there. We're going to retrieve, uh, replace our sniping rifle and leave it where it is. We don't need that any longer. We're going to make our way underneath the restaurant and bar area. And just underneath here where there are some jet skis and boats on some boxes just off to our right is a green crocodile. I wasn't expecting this guy to be stood here though. He wasn't here earlier. So we're gonna have to work around him a little bit. So what we're gonna do is make sure no one else is in the area. And we're gonna take out the blue, not green, crocodile that's on the boats there. So that's 16 down, two to go. And at this point, we're gonna go and grab uh, the fish for the plenty of fish in the sea redacted challenge and that is just by the dinghy exit which is underneath the bar so we're just going to go around the long way just in case we've alerted anyone with that gunshot and just to the right of the dinghy out by the edge pillar of the bar, uh, the bar area we find a fish we're going to crouch down approach it from behind and grab that and that will get us the plenty of fish in the sea redacted challenge and we can now return to our crocodile dundee style exit and our last remaining two uh, crocodiles and again i was going to take both my shots from here but there is a young lady leaning against the wall having a cigarette 
So I'm going to make my way into the nearby bushes and we're going to crouch down in here and it actually gives us a slightly better aim and shot at our last two crocodiles. So there's one by the deck chairs and one over by the edge of the beach there. So with the 18 crocodiles now deflated, we get a new exit unlocked and that is a new crocodile that is floating just offshore between this island and the island in the distance. So there you go, that will get us the Crocodile Dundee uh, PlayStation Trophy slash Achievement, the Plenty of Fish in the Sea Redacted Challenge, and the Kleptomaniac Discovery or Feat. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.